Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to be going some, over some additional unstructured solver attributes. If I select the domain and go to Grid Solve and go to the Attributes panel, down here in the Cells frame, you can see the first two attributes, the minimum and maximum equilateral edge lengths. These two attributes control the lower and upper edge length limit of triangular and quadrilateral cells of the domain that you have selected. Now the actual field that you see here is going to display the edge length of an equilateral cell with an area equal to the minimum or maximum cell area being used in the selected domain. The user specified field is going to show you the boundary value being used or allow you to specify your own value. So if I uncheck use boundary, I can go ahead and specify my own value, in this case, five. If I want to increase the upper limit or the upper allowable equilateral edge length to five units in this example, I can go ahead and initialize that. And you'll notice that I move from a rather fine representation on the boundary to something coarser on the interior. In this second example, you can see we have a pretty coarse unstructured domain on a pipe. And I'll talk about max angle and deviation for a moment. These two attributes control curvature based refinement. Maximum angle lets you specify the maximum angle between normal vectors of adjacent cells on the surface so they don't violate the value that you specify. And max deviation is looking at the actual deviation from those cells and the underlying geometry. In this example, what we can do is set a maximum angle of five degrees so that the adjacent elements and their normals do not violate this turning angle of five degrees and go ahead to the Solve tab and click Refine, and you'll notice that nothing happens, and that's because the minimum equilateral edge length is capping the amount of refinement that can occur in this domain. What we can do is uncheck Use Boundary and set something smaller, and then go ahead and click Refine, and that will allow the domain to refine to the appropriate level to achieve that turning angle that we've specified. The third example, if I go back into grid solve attributes, is swap cells with no interior points. You'll notice that this triangle down here has three vertices that lie on the boundaries of this domain. If I toggle on this option to swap cells with no interior points and go ahead and hit initialize, you'll notice now that that cell has a point on the interior as it's been subdivided. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.